quiet down, class. We've almost reached the science center. Hey, everybody. Cy wore his backpack on the field trip. I'll bet he's got his nerdy computer books in there. <laughs> Cy, Cy, the nerdy guy. Why do you let them tease you like that? You should stand up for yourself. It wouldn't matter, Annie. They'd still call me a nerd. Well, maybe you should stop carrying around those computer manuals and live a little. Make friends, have an adventure. An adventure? Like what? Look, there's a science center. And check out that spaceship. Whoa. Welcome to the Science Center. Please say hello to our tour guide, Mr. Theodore Gladman. Hello, Mr. Gladman. Ah, <laughs> thanks. And you can call me Theo. Boys and girls, welcome to the Science Center. As you can see, we have spheres for many sciences and exhibits in every sphere. Follow me now into the Astrosphere. You are about to embark on a virtual voyage into space. Really, Sai? Why are you still wearing that backpack? You can't read computer books in the Astrosphere. It's a fashion statement for nerds. <gasps> what was that? Uh, my stomach's growling. I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> You can't fool me, Cy Borgenstein. You've got something hiding in your backpack. All right, all right. I'll tell you the truth. My doc followed me to school, and I couldn't take him home, or I missed the field trip. You're sneaking a dog into the astrosphere? Shh! And so, space travelers, I am now activating our holographic projection system. Time for your virtual trip to the Earth, Moon, and Sun. Ah, the sun. Whoa. Each morning, we see it rise from the east. When our part of Earth turns into the light, it is day. Although it looks like the sun is moving, it's really the Earth turning on its axis. It reaches its highest point at noon, and then it sets in the west. And when we turn away from the light, it is night. The night sky is full of twinkling stars. Sometimes what looks like a star is actually a planet, like Venus. Did you know the sun is also a star? Most of the stars you can see are even bigger than our sun. But they look tiny because they are very far away. Because Earth is turning, the stars also seem to move through the sky, along with the planets and our moon. Shh! Armstrong, that's not the real moon. <clears throat> Earth travels around the sun in a nearly perfect circle called an orbit. It takes a whole year to go all the way around. Meanwhile, the moon travels around the Earth, completing one orbit in approximately a month. The moon does not make its own light. It reflects the light of the sun. Because the moon is round like a ball, only half of it is lit at any given time. We always see the same side of the moon, but the way that side is lit changes as the moon orbits the Earth. We call this the phases of the moon. Oh. 
boys and girls, we are not being respectful to Mr. Gladman. Uh, please, call me Theo. Cy Borgenstein, was that you making that howling noise? Uh, no, Mrs. Delwire. It wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> Any droid, I don't find this funny. I'm afraid you and Cy will have to miss the rest of the field trip. Go outside and wait with the bus. But, but Mrs. Delwire! <sighs> Armstrong loves howling at the moon. I should have never brought him in there. Sorry, Annie. It's all right. Someday I'll visit space for real when I become an astronaut. It's my dream to feel the G-forces. Explore the cosmos! Sounds dangerous. I'd rather read a space manual. <laughs> so can I have a look at Armstrong? Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> wow! He's fast! <laughs> That's nothing. He's even faster when he uses his jetpack. <laughs> Up the ramp! Armstrong, come back! Wait! We can't go after him into a spaceship. It's not safe. And we'll get in even more trouble. Hey, I'll use my extendable robo arm. Ugh, it's no use. He's hiding in there. Well, you've got the extendo arms, but I've got the turbo wheels. Hang on! Here. I love it! It's probably top secret and dangerous. Armstrong, there you are! Let's get out of here! Oh, oh. Armstrong, what are you doing? No, no! Mission Control, this is Halley Star Chaser. I am go for launch. Commencing countdown. Did she say launch? Halley, you are not authorized. Pardon? I. <laughs> I can't hear you. Uh, mission control? There's, oh, there's too much interference. Halley Star Chaser is go for launch in 20 seconds. 20. Help! 19, the door is locked! Eight, Let us out! 17. Awesome. 16, Halley, you must 15, abort launch. 14. Uh, Sai? I think you're well, finally gonna have a real adventure. This is not happening. Nine, this is not eight, happening. Have a seat, passengers, and I strongly suggest you fasten your safety belts. We are leaving Earth. Destination, the moon and sun. Seven, six, five. Oh, emergency exits are located at... <laughs> My bad. There are no emergency exits. Hallie, abort launch immediately. Uh, what's that? I can't hear you. Mission control, you're breaking up. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, oh! <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Lift off? Oh, this is a blast! I mean, a blast off! Woo! Gee, forces! Not in my flight plan. We have got a 239,000 mile hop to the moon. Woo! Pit stop. We are now in orbit, and I'm going to run a systems check. Feel free to uh, float about the cabin. Check me out! I'm flying! This is definitely not safe. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. The real moon out there. Isn't it beautiful? Looks like it's in the first quarter phase. And the Earth's shadow causes the moon's phases, right? Nope. 
The dark part of the moon is just the area that's not lit by the sun. We only see the Earth's shadow on the moon during a lunar eclipse. Does the moon ever cast a shadow on the Earth? <laughs> yeah, we call that a solar eclipse. Eclipses are rare. They only happen when the Earth, moon, and sun line up just right. <laughs> that sounds like Mrs. Doubtwire's class. We don't line up straight very often. Speaking of the moon, that's our next destination on this cosmic escapade. Fasten your seatbelts. Ready, set, here we go! Hey, what's that thing coming toward us? It looks like a mini moon. Oh, that's no moon. It's an asteroid. I've been reading about those for my science fair project. An asteroid is a rock that orbits the sun. Correct. They can be as big as 600 miles wide or as small as a particle of dust. My scanners measure this one to be about... a thousand feet across. Hallie, can we get a sample for size science fair? Hmm. Oh. Asteroids are hard to land on. Not much gravity. Yeah, there's not much mass. <laughs> Let's give it a try. What? No, no, no. That would be dangerous. Oh, epic fail. Let's try this again. short explorers, we need to get going. I've got a date with the man in the moon. Did she say man in the moon? It's just an expression, Sai. Because sometimes the moon's dark spots look like a face. The dark areas on the moon are what we call maria, large plains that were created billions of years ago from flowing lava. The lava is made of darker minerals, but you'll see that the moon also has mountains, hills, and valleys, just like Earth. Ready? And we're off! Cosmic calamity! Our bumpy landing and takeoff has altered the orbit of that asteroid. It's on a collision course with the moon. Looks like our man in the moon is gonna get a new dimple. Ah, I can't look. Ah! <laughs> Talk about making a big impression. No wonder the moon has so many craters. Sometimes asteroids hit it. My data files say there are more than 300,000 craters on the moon, and that's just on the side that faces Earth. Hallie, could an asteroid hit the Earth, too? Already has. Lots of times. Just ask the dinosaurs. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> but don't worry. Our atmosphere protects us from the smaller asteroids. And the larger ones are, you know, they're pretty rare. Phew. I'm going to orbit the moon while I scan for a good landing spot. You'll have a chance to see that the moon really is round, like a ball. Kids can handle a little heat, but stay out of the shadows. Your battery fluid will freeze in seconds. 
Oh, wow! Arm shrunk, can you believe it? We're actually walking on the moon. <laughs> Come on, Sai. Catch me, you lightweight. Lightweight is right. Because the moon is smaller than Earth, it has about one-sixth the gravity. If you weighed 100 pounds on Earth, you'd weigh about 16 pounds on the moon. Hey, I weigh as much as Armstrong does on Earth. <laughs> Look what Armstrong found. Footprints. Check that out. They must have been left by astronauts. The prints are perfectly preserved after all these years because there's no wind or rain to disturb them. And they lead to some kind of machine. That's a lunar rover! Only a dozen astronauts have ever walked on the moon. Neil Armstrong was the first. Oh, dreamy. They left much of their equipment behind, like this lunar rover. I wonder if I can power this one up with one of my spare batteries. Bet I can race you in this, Miss Turbo Wheels. Ah, now you're really getting adventurous, Sai. On your mark, get set, go! I spent the day in the shade of a tree Thinking how we best spend this precious time that we've been given <laughs> on the most beautiful planet in the universe. Yeah, Annie. So blue, so beautiful. Those white swirling clouds. The moon may have mountains and valleys like Earth, but the moon doesn't have oceans, rivers, trees, or plants. The moon isn't colorful and alive like Earth. It makes me a little homesick. I know what you mean. Earth is one of a kind. It's in the perfect position, not too close to the sun and not too far. It has an atmosphere for living things to breathe. The perfect recipe for life. That's pretty special. I hear you, kids. Earth is like a magnificent spaceship carrying its passengers around the sun. That reminds me. Shouldn't we be getting back to Earth soon? What if we miss the school bus home? You're probably right. All right, Hallie, we're heading back. Roger that. I've already got my readings for this part of the mission. I've had a great time on this honeymoon. I mean, <laughs> on this moon, honey. <laughs> Look, there's Armstrong digging in the dust. What do you think he's looking for? No idea, but he sure is close to the shadow. If he's not careful, he'll back right into it. Oh, that's not good. In the shadows of the moon, it can drop to minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Talk about chilling out. I'm Sean. Here, boy. Come on. This way, boy. <laughs> Understand, if you cross the shadow, your battery will freeze, and then I'll have to pull you out, and we'll all three be frozen stiff! I can use my extendable arms. No, your joints will stiffen. Sai, we have to get back to the ship. I'm not leaving without my dog. Call a chili dog. It's no joke, Hallie. 
Armstrong is frozen, and so are my arms. Please get us back to Earth. That's going to be a problem. Mm, yeah. My mission plans say, hmm, next stop, the sun. I'm afraid I can't ignore my programming, but don't worry. Ooh, the sun is a great place to warm up. Poor Armstrong. I didn't want to leave him behind, but I thought it was life or death. Sai, you were so brave. We've got to get him thought out fast before his robo-brain is warped. Speaking of warped, I'm heading out of here at warp speed. Even at light speed, it takes eight minutes to travel from the Earth to the Sun. Oh, I can't wait to show you the hottest spot in the solar system. getting much sunlight in here. Why don't we tether him outside? Then he'll really get toasty. Like a robo dog kebab. Wait, is that safe? Got a better idea? Armstrong will be fine as long as he stays inside my magnetic field. All right, passengers. There she is. G2 star, the hot head of the solar system. She's a real ball of energy. The sun! Wow! The sun is a giant sphere of plasma. It generates power by combining hydrogen into helium. This process is called nuclear fusion. I had no idea how enormous and round the sun was. I'll say, if the sun were an empty container, you could put more than a million Earths inside it. Annie? Annie, my hands are flying. Look, I can move them. How's Armstrong doing? <sighs> no change. Be patient. The surface temperature of the sun is around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Its core is even hotter, 25 million degrees Fahrenheit. Whew, that's some serious heat. when energy is released from twisted magnetic fields on its surface. This is weird. I'm feeling tingly all over. Me too. What's happening, Hallie? Houston, we have a problem. That flare caused an electrical energy surge. My wiring is short circuiting. Feeling fired up? In the mood for a spicy snack? Try some devil smoked sausages with a taste of heat in your grocer's freezer. Hallie, are you okay? I got no worries. I got no woes. A lot is good, like a long hot stone. Hallie, you there? Oh no, we'll be marooned in space, orbiting the sun until we burn up. This is all my fault. I brought Armstrong on the field trip. Now I've put us all in serious danger. We're never going to make it back. You did your best, Sai, but uh, I feel feverish. She's too damaged. That solar flare crashed her system. 
Look at the blue screen. Wait a minute. System crash? Programming? Blue screen? Hallie is a computer! And who knows computers better than I do? Ta-da! I admit it. I did bring my computer manuals with me. I take them with me everywhere. There, I said it. Well, I have to admit, I'm glad. Now let's see. Press these buttons here, and those buttons there. Control, Alt, Delete, and there. System restart. Checking my mission status. <laughs> All right, passengers. It's been a lovely vacay, but I'm pooped. We're going to whip around the backside of the sun for a return course to Earth. Yahoo! Armstrong, you, you saved, saved us! us. Flying our spaceship. Bye bye. Bye bye. Boys and girls, can you say thank you to Mr. Gladman? Thank you, Mr. Gladman. Uh, please uh, call me. Uh, forget it. Goodbye, kids. Hey, guys. You missed the best field trip ever. Yeah, Annie. That's what you get for hanging out with Sai Sai the nerdy guy. Oh, yeah? Well, I think... Wait a minute, Annie. I can handle this. I may be nerdy, I may be a computer geek, but Annie and I, we rode on a spaceship. We walked on the moon and circled the sun. And you know what? I learned something about myself. I am brave and daring. I stared down the cold black shadow of fear. I faced the scorching solar flare of doom. And you know what? Annie and I, we are adventurous. You tell them, Sai. They flew in a spaceship and walked on the moon? Yeah, right. <laughs> Students, let's be nice. Sai, I'm sorry you and Annie had to miss the field trip. But let's not make up stories, hmm? Huh? Holy smokes! What happened to the spaceship? Do you think they really did ride in it, Miss Outwire? No, that's impossible. We did, too, travel to outer space, and I can prove it. I've got a sample from a real asteroid in my backpack. Sai, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> I got no worries, got no woes, feeling happy to the tips of my toes. Don't wanna be bigger, don't wanna be smaller, don't wanna be anyone else but me. I got heart, I got soul, and I'm on a roll, that's me. I got heart, 
I got soul and I'm on a roll, that's me.